Hey everybody, this is Phil McGraw, and this is going to be uh, solving the linear systems by the substitution method. Uh, but first, let's try uh, our old school. Let's solve uh, this linear system by the graphing method. So we're going to go ahead and set up an XYT chart. I'm going to graph this one in red and this one in blue right here. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and do the plus 2 first, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put a point right there for that plus 2. All right. And then now I'm going to use this slope, which is 3, and it's 3 over 1. So from here, I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then to the right 1. And right there, I'm going to put a point right there. Okay, and then I'm going to connect them up, and there's that red line right there. Now I'm going to do the blue line. Now I could do the intercepts, and I started doing that earlier, you guys, except when I, when I do the intercepts, I get x equals 11, and I just didn't have enough room over here. So what I'm going to do is solve for y. A lot of you guys are comfortable with this uh, solving for y anyway to get it in this form y equals mx plus b like the red guy. So I'm going to go ahead and take away uh, the x on both sides and then so I have uh, 2y equals negative x plus 11 then I'm going to divide everything by 2 alright now this 2 is going to cancel right here so it's going to be y equals and there's an imaginary 1 right there so it's actually a negative 1 so this is the fraction is negative 1 half right here and for graphing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and change this to 5.5 because 2 goes into 11 five times, and then you get a decimal point five. So 5.5. Okay, because 2 goes into 12 six times, 2 goes into 10 uh, five times, so 11's right in the middle, so 5.5. Okay, so I get um, uh, y equals. Here's my y equals negative one half x plus the 5.5. Now I'm going to go ahead and graph this 5.5. So that's right between uh, five and six right there. Okay. And then from there, I just got to watch out. I got to go down one, but since I'm at 5.5, going down one is going to take me to 4.5. Down one to the right two. Okay, so I'm going to put a point right there because it's down one to the right two. Always go to the right. Okay, and then so there that is right there. Connect those guys up right there. And so right where the red line intersects that blue line is uh, the, the solution, 1.5. All right, so let's try uh, solving the systems using the substitution method. I think you'll like this method better, you guys. Okay, it's the same equations that we got before, so we know the answer is 1, 5. But watch this algebra right here, you guys. I'm going to substitute in this 3x plus 2. It says y equals that. So if y equals 3x plus 2, I'm going to substitute it in for this y right here. So instead of having a y right here where my cursor is, I'm going to put 3x plus 2 right there. Okay, but it's 2 times that, so it's going to be parentheses 2 times the quantity 3x plus 2. And you remember the distributor property, 2 times 3x and then 2 times 2 right here. So I get uh, x plus 6x plus 4 equals 11. And then I'm going to combine those like terms. x plus 6x gives me 7x plus 4 equals 11. Okay, now we're back in pre-algebra. We're going to subtract 4 from both sides. Get 7x equals 7, then divide by 7, you get x equals 1. Okay, you're not done, you guys. Remember, it's an ordered pair. We've got to find out what y is. So I'm going to go ahead and plug y back up into there. Okay, so then uh, y equals 3x plus 2, so y equals 3 times 1 plus 2, so you get y equals 5. Okay, so you get the final answer, 1 comma 5. And that's what we got when we graphed it. Uh, but it's quicker, I think, to do the substitution method, plus it's accurate. Uh, the substitution method, sometimes you're guessing where the, those lines intersect. All right, let's try another one, you guys. Okay, y equals 2x minus 3 this time. Okay, this time I'm going to let, uh, uh, I'm going to substitute in this 2x minus 3 for this y right here. And that's what this is over here. And then I'm going to distribute the 3 through. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So here we go. And then I'm going to combine those like terms. I get 7x again. I wish I would have chose a different problem, but because uh, I don't want it to be 7x again, but that's all right. You do the same stuff. And then I'm going to add 9 to both sides, and I get uh, 14 on that side. So 7 goes into 14 two times. And again, I'm going to take that x and put it right up into there uh, to find out what y is. So y is 2 times x minus 3. So 2 times 2 minus 3 is 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, and then write it as an ordered pair. X always comes first. They, ordered pairs are always in alphabetical order. So X comes first is 2. Y comes second is 1. 2 comma 1. X comma Y. It's always in alphabetical order. All right, sometimes it doesn't have X equals or just Y equals. So what I'm going to do is take that top equation right there. And it's easy to solve for X, really easy, by just, if I just added 2Y to both sides. So watch, I'm going to go plus 2Y plus 2Y on both sides. And I get X equals 2Y minus 6. Okay, so now I have 
x equals some stuff right here. So I'm going to put this x in for this x in the other equation, in the second equation. Watch. Okay, so this 2y minus 6 is now going to get replaced right here next to the 4. So it's going to be 4 parentheses 2y minus 6 plus this other 6y right here, this 6y, and then equals that 4. So there's that 6y equals 4. Put this 4 through, 4 times 2y, 4 times 6, so 4 times 2y is 8y. 4 times 6 is 24, so 8y minus 24. Then I'm going to combine those like terms. 8y and 6y is 14y minus 24 equals 6. Now we're going to add 24 to both sides. You get 28. So y, 14 goes into 28 two times. And then this time y equals 2. So I'm going to go ahead and plug x right back up into uh, this y right here to get x. Because here's where I have x equals. So 2y minus 6. So 2 times 2 minus 6, 2 my, 2, 2, sorry, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 6 is negative 2, so x equals negative 2, remember it always goes in alphabetical order, x comes first, so it's going to be negative 2 comma 2.